the Mysterons, sworn enemies of Earth. Possessing the ability to recreate an exact likeness of an object or person. But first, they must destroy. Leading the fight, one man fate has made indestructible. His name, Captain Scarlet. Stop the engine. We can drift ashore from here. Spectrum security vaults, night guard here. No, I'm sorry there's no one else around. Yes, I'll do that. I'll pass on the message in the morning. Right. Goodbye. The guard's coming out. Give me the disc. Gas to clear. Right, come on. You'll be out for about a half an hour. How long will you need to open the strong room? About ten minutes. Carl gave me all the detailed drawings, the circuit diagrams for the alarms, everything. I'll get the equipment. Right. And I'll borrow the keys from our old buddy here. I'm sure he wouldn't want us to start breaking down doors to get in. Well, I've taken care of the alarm system. One little bang in the right place and she's open. Get back behind the table. How long? Five seconds. Now. It 
done it. The door's opening. Beautiful. Well, let's see just how rich Spectrum are. This is the voice of the Mr. Arms. We know that you can hear us, Earthmen. We've seen the greed and corruption of the world in which you live, and will take our revenge upon it. We will destroy the heart of New York. We have not forgotten. I don't know why Colonel White sent us here. It looks like a job for the Spectrum Police. What a mess. Have you any idea what's missing? No, I haven't had time to check. Do we know what was in the strong room? Nothing but documentation and microfilm. All on the secret list, grade A security. Well, it looks like an inside job. Whoever opened this strong room door knew just what they were doing. Yes, it's obviously been done by professionals. But there's something funny about it. I'll report to Colonel White. Yes, Captain Scarlet? We've talked to the guard, Colonel. How is he? Oh, he's fine. They use some kind of nerve gas, but he's fully recovered. I'm glad to hear it. Go on. We're inside the Spectrum security vault. But something just doesn't add up. The job was planned most efficiently, and the strong room opened with a minimum of effort. But the whole place has been ransacked. It's as if they didn't know what they were looking for. I see. Well, it doesn't sound like the work of the Mistrons. I wanted you to check it out first, but now I think we can leave it to the Spectrum Police. Captain Scarlet, I want you and Captain Blue to concentrate on the latest Mr. On threat. Go to New York at once. Yes, Colonel, we'll leave immediately. That break in at Spectrum Security Vault. It's still puzzling me. I can't get it out of my mind. I know what you mean. Why would a group of apparently professional criminals go to such trouble to break open a strong room full of what to them must be useless documentation? Useless. Junk. Kruger and I risk our necks to get a heap of useless paper. How was I to know what was inside? You work at the plant where the vault was made? It should have been checked out. Look, Spectrum ordered a strong room. Not just any strong room, but the best. Now, you'd think they'd use it for storing something more valuable than papers. Isn't that reasonable? Will you two stop arguing? Have either of you read any of these documents? A few of them. Why? I have here a Spectrum report on the Mysterons. It's headed top secret. Listen to this. The Mysterons have the power of retrometabolism. They can destroy an object or person and reconstruct them for their own ends. Go on. The report then describes an eyewitness account of a reconstruction as it actually happened. Very interesting material, but it doesn't help us. Unless you're thinking of writing a book. Not a book. Maybe a play. And we'll all be in it. I think I know how to make the Mistrons work for us. The heart of a great city. Yes, but the pulse seems to have stopped now that the people have gone. Well, the evacuation's complete and the detector roadblocks will warn us of any mistrons who try to enter the city. We'd better organize a search for booby traps that may have already been planted. Enough to blow a whole city block to pieces. Well, all we plan to do is blow open one small safe. Yes, but what a safe. The head office of the Second National Bank, New York. The gold reserve for the whole eastern seaboard is held in there. Do you think it'll work? Sure it'll work. Inside an hour, 
we will all be Mr. Ons. Now you know what to do. There it is ahead. Get out that bottle of whiskey and splash it around. Hey, buddy. I think we spotted a fire. Whereabouts? Come down here. I can't hear you. Right. Here he comes now. Well, you must get quite a view from up there. Here, pal. Have a drink. No, thanks. You said you saw a fire. The man said have a drink. Look, quit playing games, will you? Pull off the road and sober up. Are you insinuating I'm drunk? By the smell of liquor in this car, I'd say you'd all had enough. Let's get out of here. Take my advice, friend. Keep the speed down. There are some mighty dangerous bends just ahead. You just watch you don't fall off that tower. Stupid fools. Well, we convinced him. He won't forget our faces in a hurry. We'll stop around the next bend. We'll be out of sight of the lookout. Right, get the dummies out of the trunk. If we can roll the car down to that clearing, it'll be in full view from the tower when it goes over the edge. Right. Very lifelike. Is the pedal jammed down hard? Yeah. Right. Put her in drive. It's nearly there. He should spot it any moment. Drunken fools, they're gonna kill themselves. I warned them. I warned them. The car sailed right over the edge. They didn't stand a chance. They must have all been killed instantly. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the whole thing. Right? I'll wait for you. Shouldn't you be looking out for fires? But I saw you. You were all killed. The crash, the fire. You're wrong, Earthman. Tell the authorities we Mistrons intend to destroy the Second National Bank of New York. Tell them that when you wake up. The fire lookout has a first-class record and is considered absolutely reliable. Well, it looks as if his story must be believed. Yes, sir. It seems the Misterons have taken over three men and intend to destroy the Second National Bank in New York. The Second National Bank. It could be called the heart of New York. Well, I'm not going to risk Spectrum lives trying to save a bank. Put me in touch with Captain Scarlet. Yes, sir. What's the latest situation, Captain Scarlet? We organized a systematic search of the whole area and we've nearly covered all of the city center. So far, no sign of a Mr. on booby trap. Has the area been evacuated? Yes, sir. Only the police and Spectrum personnel are left. Well, I want you to pull everyone out. Pull out, sir? Yes, Captain. The Mistrons have narrowed their field of attack to the Second National Bank. I don't pretend to understand why, but if they do succeed, I don't want any of our men hurt in the explosion. Pull back to the roadblocks. Yes, sir. Well, we'll be inside the city limits in five minutes. A roadblock. Better ease up. Right. It's a spectrum roadblock. 
We'll have to be careful. Spectrum will be looking for Mr. Ons. That's the way we planned it. We'll get through. Three men have just pulled up. Gray Saloon, license number 101X238. Keep them talking while I check them out with the Mr. On detector. S.I.G. Uh, contact me over the personal receiver. I'll turn the volume right down so they can't overhear. S.I.G., Captain Magenta. What's the trouble, Captain? Just a routine check, gentlemen. Negative. I'm sure you're aware of the Mistron threat and that this is a restricted area. Oh, yes, but uh, we understand the Mistrons have now limited their target to one small area downtown. Two are negative, Captain Magenta. I'm checking on the third. I'm afraid I have my orders. No unauthorized personnel can pass through. We understand, Captain. I think this is what you need. Hmm. Your government agents. Or where are you heading? Like you, Captain. We have our orders. They're all clear, Captain Magenta. They can proceed. Well, gentlemen, everything seems to be in order. I must warn you that you enter entirely at your own risk. If you do run into difficulties, Spectrum cannot help. All our personnel have been pulled back outside the roadblocks. But you are clear to proceed. Good luck. Thanks, Captain. We'll manage. Well, I've got to hand it to you, Kruger. You were smooth. He even told us that pulled all their men back. Well, boys, the town has been evacuated. We can take our time and just help ourselves to the money. There it is. Let's go. Captain Scarlet, Captain Blue. Three men were reported heading this way. Have they been through here yet? Yes, we let them pass about 15 minutes ago. You let them pass? Yes, they checked out clean. They knew the Mysterons had changed their target and had government authorization to enter. Government agents, eh? Yes. Wait a minute. How did they know about the Mysteron change of plan? That information was only circulated to Spectrum personnel. You're right. It's beginning to fall into place. They must be the Mysterons the fire lookout saw in the crash. But they were checked out by the detector, and they weren't Mysterons. There's only one explanation. That accident was faked. The city's evacuated. They're going to rob the Second National Bank. I'm going in. Put Colonel White in the picture. We can forget the alarms. No one's going to hear them. Just fix the explosive. Right. It's uncanny. The silence, I mean. No traffic, no people. An empty city. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. Someone outside. There can't be. The city's empty. Let's get the safe door open. Listen. There it is again. Look, I heard nothing. The quicker we blow that door, the quicker we can get out of here. Let's move. Hi. 
How far to the bank? About two miles. Let's hope we're in time. Perfect. Let's get the money in gold and get out of here. Must be millions. We'll load the gold first. Don't try and carry too much at a time. It's heavy. Stay where you are, Earthmen. The greed that brought you here will cost you dearly. In five minutes, this bank will be destroyed, and you with it. Let us out! You can't leave us here! There's a car coming towards us. That's it. Gray Saloon, registration 101X238. But there was only one man in it. Yes, and unless I'm very much mistaken, that man was Captain Black. We're closing on him. Warn the roadblock. We've got him trapped. Captain Magenta, the Gray Saloon is approximately one mile from the roadblock. We suspect Captain Black is driving. Make sure he does not escape. Don't worry, Captain Blue. He won't get through here. Captain Black, this is the voice of the Mr. Ons. There is a roadblock ahead and a Spectrum saloon behind you. Vanished in the thin air. He can't have. There's no way out. Absolutely none. He's vanished like a ghost. The Mr. Ons have powers we cannot hope to understand. Now that the full story has emerged, we see how the greed of three men resulted in their eventual death. The Mistrons also recognize the corruption and greed of man and have destroyed, as they said they would, the heart of New York, the second national bank. But surely these three men were not typical of mankind, whom I believe to be basically good. And because of this, I am convinced of our ultimate victory against the Mistrons. <laughs> Captain Scarlet. 
in scarlet. 